Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Todd back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be talking about the event that did come into my team that is available until May 3rd, which ultimately means it is available through the weekend and even on. Let me look up. I think May 3rd, what would that be? Through Monday or Tuesday of next week. So that's a decent amount of time to grind triple threat. And as you guys can see, it says play my team unlimited, limited TTO or triple threat for a chance to earn all versions of Michael Jordan. Okay, so the one thing about this is this is not just triple threat online. This is not just triple threat offline. He's in my team unlimited in which obviously there's not going to show a way to get Michael Jordan. And then obviously limited, he might pop up as one of the rewards. So what does this mean for 2K in general? What does this mean for the modes that you specifically should grind? Going to be going over all of that in this video today. But if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. So the first thing I just want you guys to kind of be aware of is the price of Michael Jordan. What is going to happen? Well, here's the first thing I'll say. If you have a Galaxy Opal MJ, expect his price to go down by quite a bit throughout this weekend. You guys can see all of the MJs up here. Now, I would not put it up for 74K. I mean, maybe, maybe. You just, it's hard to know what his price could go for. I think it's going to go down quite a bit with all of these MJs on the auction house. So if you have an MJ, I mean, it's probably too late by the time you sell, you see the video, but definitely try to sell him right now. Now, here's the thing about Triple Threat Online that I kind of like. You guys can see there are all versions of MJ from the lowest tier to the highest tier. Now, if you go back here and look just for, you know, example, I just want to show you guys kind of what the pink diamond Michael Jordan goes for. The pink diamond Michael Jordan is available at that middle tier. So what, what does pink diamond Michael Jordan go for? By the time that his price settles, you might be able to get 5K for every MJ you get, which isn't the worst price, but is it worth playing? That's, that's the ultimate kind of question for you. And I don't think it's bad to play for Pink Diamond Michael Jordan. I really don't. If, if, if Or not for Pink Diamond Michael Jordan, but just to play Triple Threat Online in general. Now, Triple Threat Offline, here's the thing. We've seen it over and over and over again, what they do to the odds, okay? The odds of the vault opening greatly decreases when the boards are juiced. It has in the past, and I guarantee it's like that again. So if you're wanting Danny Ferry, I mean, it's probably just not the best time to grind. Quite honestly, I say that and I and I shouldn't say that because it's still probably the best time to grind Triple Threat offline because of the chance to pull the, the Dark Matter MJ uh, and the Galaxy Opal MJ. Now, one thing I do want to say is it doesn't look like it says all versions, right? All versions of Michael Jordan. So what doesn't appear, guys, is this Michael Jordan. Like we haven't seen this Michael Jordan appearing on boards. But it makes me makes me wonder, is the hero Michael Jordan available or not, right? They say all versions of Michael Jordan, so that should include the hero version. But it, he doesn't look like he's showing up on boards anywhere. So it's just kind of something to monitor and see. Does anybody pull the hero Michael Jordan off the boards as well or not? Now, obviously, for Triple Threat Online, the Dark Matter MJs are only going to be available at that top tier. And the Michael Jordans progress as we go. But what are the odds like for my team limited, for my team unlimited, for triple threat offline, online? That's really the big question mark that I have. So I'm, I'm not that I'm going to play every mode, but I'm just going to give you guys kind of my breakdown on what the best mode for you is specifically to play. Now, here's the thing. If you do not have Danny Ferry yet, I strongly still recommend considering playing triple threat offline it's the easiest mode for the average person let's say you win 50 percent of all online games you're gonna win every triple threat offline game so my suggestion just grind triple threat offline if you play 24 30 40 games and you don't see a galaxy opal mj then you probably know what the odds are like if you are pretty good at the game and already have danny ferry maybe wanting julius randall I'd recommend playing Triple Threat online because not only do you have a chance of, you know, getting a Dark Matter MJ, you get other prizes as you go. Now, in Triple Threat offline with the vault odds, how I think they're going to be today, I just think Triple Threat online is going to be the more productive mode if you are super good at the game. Now, my team limits it. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be grinding this mode anyways. Uh, but we'll see. It says they're available in my team limited and my team unlimited. I do expect kind of the unlimited odds to be better, but I don't know how it's going to work. Is he just going to show up after a random game 
or how exactly is that going to work it's just going to be interesting to see kind of what the odds are like for each of them but i wouldn't suggest grinding unlimited specifically for michael jordan the other reason i'm going to be playing unlimited today is just for my no money spent squad so i can get the michael or work towards that michael red card but we'll see i, I still guys would strongly recommend triple threat offline because it, obviously there's more rewards than that i think there's going to be more rewards in triple threat offline then show up just right here but we'll, we'll have to see and maybe the hero mj is just available in my team unlimited since it doesn't look like he's showing up here in my team uh or in triple threat offline or triple threat online so it's just going to be interesting to monitor again where people are pulling these types of cards because if people are, are playing unlimited in every hundredth game the hero mj is popping out then that's not a bad option but i still guys Again, this is the mode I would guide. I personally don't have Danny Ferry on my no money spend account. Seeing these MJs, it seems like a decent enough way to make MT. And so if you're just looking for a source of MT or even want that dark matter Michael Jordan, you got a chance to do so. And again, it's not just a one day thing. You got time this weekend to see where people, where other people in the community are getting their MJ luck from. And then you can maybe try to, to do that as well. But definitely a, a W from 2K. I wish they would do something like this during the middle of the week because, I mean, it, it's it's like every Friday we get the same things, a huge, massive content drop, but I wish they would try to keep the game mode more active during the week. But again, at least they give you guys something to grind this weekend. That is a pretty big W. You got to give credit where credit is due, and 2K deserves it, man. They're keeping the, the triple threat online, triple threat offline modes active, as well as it says, including Michael Jordan in limited, my team unlimited. So we'll see if all versions are actually obtainable. It wouldn't surprise me if the hero kind of card wasn't uh, wasn't attainable, but we'll see. We'll see uh, where 2K kind of puts their odds. And let's see if the triple threat offline vault or vault opens as much as it did the last time boards were juiced. Because it seems like to me, every time boards are juiced, it just isn't what it's meant to be, right? When boards are juiced, it's supposed to be something that, you know, the the, all, the odds of the vault opening shouldn't change. So hopefully they keep the vault odds the same, right around 50-50, maybe even above, instead of going to, you know, 25, 30% of it opening. Because that's that's really derailing while grinding the mode, seeing the vault open only 25% of the time. But again, massive, massive W for 2K. And again, just give credit where credit is due all the way around. And if you're looking for a Dark Matter MJ and don't really have time to play the game, let's say this week, hey, his price is going to go down massively throughout today because you guys can just see all the extra MJs put up. Here's not, I haven't seen one extra hero MJ put up in the last 10 minutes. Is that a, is that a sign for 2K that, you know, maybe it's not as common to pull that, that hero MJ compared to everyone else? We'll see. But it does look like the, the Galaxy Opal MJ is being pulled quite a bit. So we'll just have to see throughout today what MJ's <laughs> price ends up being because he might not be a bad card to snipe. Like if you can get a Galaxy Opal MJ for under, let's say, 20K, I have a hard time seeing his price dip below that. But that is going to wrap it up for my video today on the new Michael Jordan takeover kind of update within NBA 2K21, my team. It is available until May 3rd, so you don't have to necessarily get home or, or you know, do anything crazy to grind it. We'll see what, what the boards are like, how what the odds are like, and if I can end up getting an MJ on my account on my unlimited run or while grinding triple threat offline. But let me know down below in the comments, what mode are you guys most excited to grind? Triple threat offline, triple threat online, limited on your way to Rashard Lewis, or my team unlimited. Let me know that down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.